what is going on YouTube? Uh, this is Profit Day Trader here, and today is part eight of our beginner series for Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. Okay, so our last video, if uh, you missed it, uh, we went over to Monitor tab. I made a live trade, showed you how this affects uh, what you see here. If you're interested in that video, that is part seven. You can go back and check that video out. Uh, today, in today's video, we're going to be going over to Scan tab. Now, uh, in the stock market, there are thousands and thousands of ticker symbols. Now, ticker symbols are just an abbreviation to find the stock on the stock exchange. So the issue is you want to be looking for specific stocks every single day. Now, it's impossible to know all the ticker symbols, so you need to break it down. We're going to go over here and click on the scan tab. You need to break it down. You want to tell the program what specifically you're looking for. And this is the way to go. This will scan the entire stock market pre-market, uh, during active hours, and during aftermarket. So, again, if any of this is confusing, don't worry. This takes a little more time. The scan tab is a little more advanced, but it's very, very important. And I wanted to at least uh, familiarize, familiarize you, you with it um, in this beginner series just to understand that you're going to be using this a lot in the, the, your future trading. Maybe not as much in the very, very beginning, but in the later stages, you're definitely going to be using this. So, if you look at... Uh, right now, this is the default setup. I'm hoping that your screen looks the same. I reset this to the default. So if you look at this, they're giving you three different attributes that you can change. Now, this is how you're going to filter out the stocks. This is how you're going to find specific stocks. Now, when you put th these these attributes in, it looks for all three, not just one specifically. It, it has to ha combine all three at the same time. So... If, if you're looking for something, again, this is going to be very something that's going to take a little while for you to find out what you like, what you like to trade, how much money you like to spend, what type of stocks you like to, to trade. So this is going to be something that's going to be figured out. But for the most part, this is pretty standard for what I use, uh, to be honest. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. So for me specifically, I like to look for stocks that are over $2. So I'm going to come over here, scroll down. Let me scroll up. Sorry, scroll up. Now, I'm going to go by the ask size. So, I'm going to come over here and say, okay, ask size, I want it to be at least $2. And I don't want anything. I don't like to trade. I don't have a, a super ton of money. So, I don't like to trade anything over, I'll just say, 50 bucks. So, that's my window. I'm telling it, Right now, I'm telling the computer, find the stocks between $2 and $50. Now, right now, it says 9,000 matches. So that's the so we're just gonna hit scan. I'll show you right here. So if you look here, you know I want to change this one second. I want to change it to last. Change it to last and do two dollars. Excuse me, sorry. I thought ask could be better. Looks like last is gonna be better. We're gonna change this to, again two dollars, fifty dollars. Okay, we're gonna hit the scan button again. If this is overwhelming, don't worry. This is something that's gonna take a lot more to learn. But right now, if we're looking at this. This is the last price. This is the price that it is currently right now. So it's not going to show you anything over 50. It's not going to show you anything under $2. And you can completely sort these out by clicking on these rows. So I'll come over here. And we, this is this is from least expensive to most expensive and most expensive to least expensive. So as you can see, the stock I found everything on the stock market right now. Only only filter I put in is from $2 to $50. And that is what it found. So it, it literally only if it looked for this row. And there's a a lot more than that shows right here if you click down here you can do thousands if you want but it's going to take too long so that's why it's recommended to do a few filters this way it it keeps narrowing down the search so the next one is volume now volume is very important for for day trading now volume is showing where all the people are trading now if you look right now this is the volume this is the volume column right here this is 77,000 volume now that's very low you want to look for something that's usually in the millions um that's usually the stocks that everybody's messing around with so i'm going to come over here i'm going to just say i'm going to say five million i'm going to say five million the max you don't want to put a max in here this can go as high as you like that's okay so i'm going to click out now all of a sudden you can see it went from nine thousand to seven hundred matches so now we're getting a little bit better we're getting closer to what the stocks that i want to find again this is for me specifically this is stuff that I researched that other day traders have found. You might like something a little different. This is something you're going to mess around with. Um, so don't you don't have to copy this exactly, but this is what I recommend for the stocks that are usually uh, more volatile, more 
interested, more, more better for day trading. And then I'm just going to do the percent change. I like stuff that's usually up over 10%. And again, max, I'm not super worried about. So I'm going to come over here and hit scan. No, I'm going to change this back to uh, 50. We're going to scan. Now you can see now only 29 stocks popped up because it had to, it had to find all three of these conditions. So there's 9,000 that are in between $2, $2 and $50. There's 700 plus that has 5 million plus volume and 970 that are plus 10% today. But there's only 29 that are all three. Now these are the conditions that I like. So these are the stocks. If you come over here and you can always, oh, just in a second. So if you come over here, this is usually what I focus on here. So this is the stock that would be interesting to me. Right now it's, it's up 56%. Uh, this one's up 92%. And lots and lots of volume. This is this shows you that a lot of a lot of retail traders are in this. These these are these are the stocks that you want to be a part of because these are the ones that move very quickly. As you can see, the prices right now it's around lunchtime, so it's not too bad. It's a little slower, but these are the stocks that are they're going to be high interest for today. So these are the ones I keep on my watch list. I I just I keep look at, I keep bouncing around. This is where you're going to find your stocks. Now again, there's a lot into this this uh, scan tab, and sorry if it's a lot of information at once, but um, you are able to add filters. You can like say, also, say you're just looking for something a little more simple. You don't need to have three. You can have, you can have two if you want. You can come over here, you click the X, you can have one. Look, you know, I just want to find stocks. I want to come over here and look for net change. I just want to find stocks that are over 25%. That's all I want to find. That's all I care about. Well, here you go. There's, there's, there's stocks over 25%. There's 25 stocks right now over 25%. So you can do that. That's no, I'm sorry, not any percent change. Sorry, percent change. My bad. Excuse me. We're gonna do all the stocks over here over 25 percent. Now there's 419. Does this make any sense? So all these stocks here are over 25 percent. Now again, this isn't a good a good way to search for stocks, but I'm just, I'm just giving you an example of if you wanted to just keep it simple, this is a way to you can you can make this as simple and as complicated as you want. Now, if you come over here, there's an add filter button. You can add. You can. I, I, I don't mess with these again. I don't mess with these. I just mess with the stock options here. So when you come over here, you can add three. You can add four. You can add five. So you can make this as simple or complicated as you want. But again, this is something I, I highly recommend. Just mess around with the buttons. Understand how it affects this uh, this search here. But again, this is where you're going to find all your stocks. For the day so um trying to think what else we can go through so again uh, if you look at the actual so i'm gonna go back here i'm gonna add i'm gonna go back to the uh filters that i like so i'm gonna go here one second everything over two dollars going to go volume here anything over five million and then I'll do everything. I'll keep 25%. That's okay. Okay. I didn't find much. So these are only, there's only about six stocks today that are, that would, that would be in my interest today. So it's not much, as much going on today. So, all right. Now this, again, stinker sum is very, very customizable. So if you look at these rows here, it shows you the symbol. This is the ticker symbol. This is the description. This is the price that it is right now. This is the total net change. So, this is, it's up a dollar ten today, that's what it means. This is the percent change. This is the volume, the bid, the ask, high, low, and et cetera. So you can actually customize this as, you can actually customize this whole thing. So say over here, like for me, I don't really care about the description. So you can just click, drag. I like to just put throw it out in the back. I really care about bid size, ask size, volume, percent change like these are the ones I really want to look at and you can you can make these smaller they, they give you a lot of room you don't need all this room but see when I'm when I'm trading I like to look at look at it I like to have my eyesight is very important you want to have your focus on the important information right away so I would do something like this you can also come over here this little gear button I don't know if you can see it right here it's a little tiny gear click on this and you can also add a bunch of stuff now there isn't much that I would recommend adding these are more like I'm not, I'm not even I'm familiar with most of this stuff um, but if you want to mess around with that that's something you can add 
later on, but I like to add the shares as well. The shares to tells you the total number of shares. I like to put that right next to the volume. So this just shows you there's 114 million trades a day, but there's only 24 million shares. So that that every share has been traded over four or five times. So these are the stocks that, that you want to be be into. So again, this is something that you want to go through. You want to really take your time with this. This is very important. This is a little more advanced stuff. Don't be afraid of this. Um, one last quick note, you can save this. So once you set up your scan, so okay, okay, I like this scan over here. You can come over here and you can do, I have a load, uh, I don't think it's, no, I've reset it. Yeah, I do have it. So I have pre-market. So I have my, so come over here, you want to load your, your scan. I have a pre-market scan here. So this is, these are actually my settings right here. So I'll hit scan. This this is what would come up on my computer today. Uh, it doesn't sound right. Oh, I can do this one. It's a little goofy because I, I reset it. So this is the stocks that I'd be watching today. Now, again, you come over here. If you want to save it, you can come over and you can you can you can save this as well. You can name it whatever you like. Hit the save button. Now it's gonna be saved in your your uh, your scans over here. So yeah, that's it. Um this is gonna be it. This is the last part of the beginner series. Uh, this isn't going to be my last video for Thinkorswim. Uh, this is just to get people that aren't familiar with Thinkorswim, just kind of familiar with the buttons, what they do. I will be going over more advanced stuff in later videos. It won't be a series. It'll be more just random uh, stuff for uh, specific specific parts of the program. But uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who subscribed, who liked my videos. It really means a lot to me. I'm really trying to build this community up. Uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, we'll be talking about nothing but day trading stocks, nothing stocks, terminology, and I'm open for suggestions as well. If you want specific content, just uh, give me a comment below. I really, again, I'm really looking to build this community. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.